For our Frequently Asked Questions Friday video this week, we will be talking about healthcare powers of attorney um, or healthcare directives and what to do with those documents. One of the most common questions that we get here when we're at the signing table after clients have completed their signing is what should I do with my healthcare power of attorney? We've had previous videos where we've discussed what you should do with your documents and uh, the main recommendation on that is to make sure that you have some sort of fire and also water protection for them. Um, but a question that comes up frequently is who would know who to contact or who would know about this healthcare power of attorney in the event that I'm in an accident or something unexpected happens. Up until uh, just recently, I really didn't have a good answer for this, but recently I came across a company that's called DocuBank, and we actually have a visual aid for our Frequently Asked Questions Friday uh, discussion this week. Um, so this is a card from said company, which is DocuBank, and it has a lot of information on it uh, that's tied to your healthcare power of attorney. So it has who the emergency contact for you is and their contact information so that someone could get a hold of them if you were in an accident or something like this. And it also has information about allergies and other conditions that you uh, suffer from that someone would need to know about in an emergency. And also it has information uh, here about if you have pets or minor children at home, so that people who are uh, acting as first responders will know exactly what they're dealing with um, at that point. So this is a wallet card. And what we do is we submit your healthcare directives or healthcare power of attorney to DocuBank after you're signing, um, along with an enrollment form and then they store this healthcare directives document in their system securely. And if something happens, uh, so they give you this card and you keep it in your wallet. And if something happens and you're admitted to a healthcare facility, it says on the back of this card that the healthcare facility is supposed to contact DocuBank to get the copy of your advanced directives or healthcare directives. Um, and then so what happens is DocuBank will then fax the healthcare provider or hospital the copy of that document. And of course, as I mentioned before, your emergency contact information is actually already printed on this card. So the people who are uh, responding to this emergency will know who to contact. This is the best way that I've seen uh, for you to ensure that if something happens that's unexpected or you have an emergency, um, that the right people are contacted and also the healthcare provider or hospital has the ability to get the document that they need. Um, we don't often carry around copies of our healthcare directives with us um, in the event of an emergency. So having this card in your wallet is a really good way um, to make sure that those wishes will be honored and um, the right people are in charge of making these decisions for you should something happen. We provide this as a service here at Cardinal to our maintenance clients. So if you're enrolled in our maintenance program, this is something that we will do um, as a matter of course and we will keep this up to date every year for you. If you just come in and have your documents done and choose not to enroll in maintenance, you can also enroll in DocuBank, um, and then there's a yearly fee associated with that after that point. Um, and of course, DocuBank is something that um, anyone is able to enroll in, not just um, Cardinal State Planning clients. However, I did want to explain that our maintenance clients do get this perk um, as part of enrolling in the maintenance program because I've just been so uh, impressed with this idea. It really answers a question that we get all the time here um, and I, I just never had a really good answer to until now. 
So if you've got a question, we would love to hear from you. Please leave us a comment on Facebook or send us an email and we will answer your question.